Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to perform a demo in which we will learn how to perform insert operation in OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package. So that might not be really a best way to do it, but there are some scenarios where we need to insert the values in a, um, in a SQL Server table or any other table by using OLEDB command transformation. And if you have millions of row, you are not going to use it because you know that it create or it insert one row at a time and create it create or execute that SQL statement or prepare that SQL statement for each of the record. So it's not a best solution, but we are going to learn as this component is given. So we are going to learn how to use this one for our um, requirement. And here we are going to learn how to insert the rows from a flat file and then uh, write to the SQL Server table and we will use the insert statement in OLEDB command transformation. Now, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn how to read the data from a flat file by using flat file source, how to create a table in SQL Server database, how to write insert statement with parameters for OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package, and finally, how to map the incoming uh, or input columns to the OLEDB command transformation parameters. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look. First of all, we have a table that we prepared uh, according to the file. So we have a file that has customer name and region code. I have created this table statement. So create table, table name, DBO customer and customer ID, ident uh, integer and identity. So it is will be automatically incremented by one. Uh, so we don't have to insert this value, but we will be inserting customer name and region code from the file. Let's create this table. Okay, there is already existing. So I have created this table already. You can drop it and recreate if you want. And uh, now let's take a look in the select statement. It has some records. Uh, let me go ahead and truncate this table. All right. Next, uh, what we have, uh, we have a file that has a customer name and a customer uh, or region code. So we have Amir from Asia, John from North America and Christy from Europe. So these are the three records we have in the file. Let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. If you are using a SSIS 2012 or 14, you will be having SSDT. If you are using old versions such as 2005 and 2008, you will be using bids. Let's create a new package by right clicking or just clicking new SSIS package and we will be saying OLEDB, just rename it OLEDB command transformation, transformation, sorry. And we call it insert because we will be doing multiple demos and I want to keep that way. OLEDB command transformation underscore insert, then we will do update and uh, delete and other ones. First of all, as we are reading data from a flat file, we have to use the data flow task and inside the data flow task, we will be using flat file source. So let's find a source here and we have flat file source, make a connection to the file, browse and here you selected your customer file. I have the column names in the first row, so that's fine. Hit on columns, they are coming correct. My file is comma delimited, so it is uh, already selected. If you have different, you can choose according to yours. Go to advanced, take a look. We have a customer name, Walker 50 or string 50, that will work fine for us. And customer code is also Walker 50 here. So if we go back here and we have a, a customer name and region code worker 100, we can change it here. If you like, we can simply delete 50 and put 100. That will change it to worker 100. So we are all good. Click on, pre click on preview and we are fine. Retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. If uh, you are getting some blank values and you want to read them as null, you have to click the, uh, here. And uh, let's say we click it here, but we know that our data is just three records and there is no blank values coming. Click on columns and hit OK. Next part is uh, we are going to use uh, 
the OLEDB destin uh, sorry OLEDB command transformation uh, instead of using OLEDB uh, destination uh, we can simply use it because we are just doing it and using an insert operation we can simply write the data to the OLEDB destination and that will be much faster but here the goal is to show you the demo how to perform the insert by using OLEDB command and there are scenarios where we do use uh, OLEDB command transformation to insert the values now here we have to insert the values first of all we have to create a connection that we want to use as we are writing the data to the table so we need to make a connection here you can't really make a new connection so you have to go back and create a OLEDB connection let's create OLEDB connection and we are writing our records to a test database table so we will be making a connection to the test database here you have to provide the SQL server name then you will be providing the database name in our case it's test so check your connection working fine now hit OK we are all good now you go here and then select the connection manager so we know that it is test we selected this one here in the component properties you will be writing your SQL statement and this is how you will be writing your SQL statement you will be saying insert into DBO customer and then you will be providing the column names we have customer name and then we have a region code I provided that and then I as we write up let me copy this part so we don't do any mistake I think so it's correct but still region code that's correct is just uh, uh, not recognizing the intelligence here we will say values that's how we write the values and if I have to put some value here I always go ahead and put the values whatever the test and all let me see I can show you one value to insert so we will say one two whatever and insert the values so one row is inserted but even this intelligence didn't recognize this column that's fine but sometimes the columns are there so don't worry about that as we can insert the values directly here but in OLEDB command transformation we have to provide these question marks so we will provide the question marks instead of the values and then we will map those to the input columns so let's take this statement go to the package hit here let me show you one more thing so as you see here if uh, there is no question mark or values part here so don't just try to insert the value here sometime when you have uh, uh, entered the values here like you you sometime we write our statements and we uh, hit enter if you copy this part uh, and just paste it here it will take only first line so that's the problem so you have to click here and then uh, paste the thing that way you will be making sure the entire code is written here hit ok now in the column mappings we have to map the columns the bad part about this one is it would not give you the exact name of those uh, on the destination side so what you have to do whatever the question marks you have put it make sure you have written it here so you can know that what whatever you are put in so go back and we know that our customer name is the first one and the region code is the second one and if you have written in a different way let's say you have region code here and customer name at the end then you will be mapping accordingly so make sure uh, because this will say parameter 0 1 2 3 4 and keep going and on this side you have all those input columns so make sure you are mapping them correctly and uh, on the input and output properties we don't have to do anything and uh, that's it so we are all set uh, right now what we have in this table we have only one record that we inserted and we can truncate that one let's run our SSIS package now what should happen three records should be inserted into the table so we can see that there are three records they were read from the flat file and they were inserted into the table by using OLEDB command transformation now let's go and take a look 
and all those three records are there id is automatically populated as it is it is the identity column now one bad thing i was telling you again you can simply use oladb destination and that will be in the uh, the process will be happening in batch or in a bulk so you can select different modes of that but here what is happening you have insert query that is running for each of the row you are getting from the source so it is preparing the insert query with those values and then in then running that insert query so if you have 5000 records or thousand um, let's say 10000 records you will see a big major uh, performance hit by using oladb command transformation in those cases you might want to insert the records to the some now, staging table and use uh, set based queries uh, to insert those uh, records or update those records. But we got to know that uh, this is how we select uh, our connection manager, this is how we write our uh, insert query, and this is how we map our columns in the OLADB command transformation if we need to use that. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you in next video.